Everybody, we're here at the Dell Oklahoma City facility, and we're here with 2,000 of our closest friends. Yeah, now we stopped by to see if they know why VX Rail is the fastest growing solution in company history, and why it's the go-to solution for x86 workloads. Jordan, why are your customers moving to hyperconverged? Faster time to production. Also, no forklift every three to five years. It's easier to deploy, set up, use, and manage. Also, faster time to value in buying, deploying, and managing. Okay, now we're gonna go out here to the third floor of building B and see if we can find some more data points around why HCI and what people are thinking. It's a great way to modernize your data center. It's a stepping stone to composable infrastructure and cloud operating models. VxRail is a great way to uh, respond faster to business needs. It allows you to use a flexible, software-centric approach to enable private cloud. All right, so third floor building B, y'all had some awesome examples of YHCI. Let me hit you with just a couple more. It'll provide a smaller footprint, spend less on power and cooling. It also allows you to efficiently pool your resources. The CPU and the server can be used for compute and storage. Additionally, you can scale how you want. Start small, scale in smaller increments. And to sum it all up, it allows for a significantly reduced total cost of ownership. Now, there seem to be some misconceptions floating around out there about HCI. We're here with security to clear this up. So tell me, is HCI really ready for prime time? Yes, absolutely. Is hyperconverged ready for enterprise workloads? Uh -oh. And you're telling me that Fortune 100 companies are running hyperconverged today in production? Yes. All right, so we covered a lot about why HCI. Let's talk about a few examples of why not HCI before we expand here. So think of this in terms of a bell curve. There's a large majority of workloads that would work. The ones on the ends, the outer edges, are going to be situations like a whole lot of compute without much storage requirement, or a whole lot of storage with very little compute requirement, or a massive amount of file, like hundreds and hundreds of terabytes. Another use case you wouldn't want to use here is long-term storage archive. Okay. Let me give you the last 20 years of VMware's software-defined efficiency revolution. So when we say we abstracted something or we virtualized something, it means we software-defined it, right? Uh, this is what is called a technology stack. People consume apps. That's what they know about the apps consume data. The data sits on the OS, and the OS sits on the foundation of every data center, storage, compute, and networking. So of this technology stack, first, VMware virtualized compute. They're called VMs, right? They used vSphere to do that. Next, they have virtualized storage, software-defined storage. They used vSAN to do that. vSAN comes in VxRail. VxRail is a vSAN delivery device. And then they have software-defined networking, SDN. They do that with NSX. That means you need less physical resources. You can use them much more efficiently over much bigger distances. So Garrett, why does vSAN make the most sense for HCI? Well, vSAN makes the most sense for HCI for a number of reasons. First off, existing VMware uh, installs can benefit right away. They can use their existing investment and install vSAN on their, their current workloads or, or add to their existing cluster. vSAN is also a storage-based policy uh, management. So instead of managing storage, you're just managing the VMs and, and creating the policy there. It's, it's so much more sim uh, simpler designed, and that's what we've uh, been going for all these years. In kernel architecture, uh, vSAN is very much a part of the vSphere kernel, so uh, it, it's built in, it's it's a part of it, so it really just makes sense to go with vSAN uh, for HCI, uh, certainly if you're an existing VMware shop or a potential one at that. Dedupe and compression for data savings, uh, data at rest encryption, erasure coding, which gives you better storage efficiencies like RAID 5, RAID 6 type storage efficiencies. You're an existing uh, VMware shop, it's not like it requires a, a different skill set to learn vSAN either. Again, it's uh, very much a part of vSphere and uh, integrates right with it. <laughs> okay, so it's clear. Dell OKC gets it. Let's bring it all together with YVxRail. With VxRail, you get Dell PowerEdge 14th generation servers, the number one server in the world. You also get VMware vSAN, the number one software-defined storage platform in the world. VxRail marries the two and delivers an easy-to-use turnkey appliance. Boom, done. It gives you high quality, reliability, and easy lifecycle management. Over 200 manual steps are already automated in the system. One-click lifecycle management for hardware, software, and firmware. You have a consistent known good state from one known good state to the next. There's never a worry about firmware issues, configuration drift within that, 
and you don't have to test the integration of all those components. We do it for you. Additionally, you have single support for the entire stack. There's never any finger pointing between the components. So stop wasting your time on non-value add work, that foundation of the stack. Hand that over and let that be automated for you. Have it delivered ready to rock. You focus on the differentiator for your business. All right, so x86 workload, you should be looking at HCI in the majority of the cases. HCI, you should be considering vSAN, especially if it's a VMware shop. But even if not, it deserves a look. If you're looking at vSAN, VxRail is the easiest way to consume it. So let VxRail simplify your operations and have a great day. All right, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Go modernize your data center with VxRail. Do you think it's her headset that's making her this happy? No, it's not. It's VxRail. Guess what she's doing? She's watching Netflix. She's not administering storage. She's not carving up LUNs. There's no reason to do that anymore. It's done, right? Netflix. Oh, look. She's talking to her friend and laughing. She's not stuck in a data center until 3 a.m. VxRail. You see this guy? You see how he's so happy? You see how he's playing football? He saved a lot of time because he implemented VxRail. VxRail could give you more time to enjoy nature. VxRail is the best.